Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, dear students, and welcome to our science class. Today is Thursday, and the date is the 23rd of December 2021. Open with me to page 279. Let's learn about people in science. Okay, you know that there are so many different scientists. It depends on what do they study. If they are studying about animals, so they must be a zoology. If they are studying about plants, they must be a botanist. If they are studying about environment, they must be environmental scientists. So today I'm going to introduce you to some environmental scientists. Take a look at Noah. The first one is Noah. Can you see Noah? From the picture, what do you think he's studying about? Which environment? Huh? The fish environment. The fish. Okay, very good. Fish environment. But not all fish environment. He's studying about the fish that lives in island waters. So there are some kinds, they swim only in island water. So he's responsible about uh, learning about them, he's uh, protecting them. Why? Because where he lives, they, they depend on fishing for food, okay? But what he's doing right now, he's seeing which animal is endangered. Do you know what does it mean endangered? Yes. What does it mean? Tell me. Endangered. Okay, I'm gonna help you. Endangered species are the uh, species or the animals that if they die, all of them, no more will be of the same kind. So they can be extinct. Do you know what does it mean, extinct? So what does he do, this man Noah? Noah is teaching his children, uh, his village, just the right ways to do what? To conserve using the fishes and all sea animals kinds. Okay? Who wants to read with me? Yeah. Who wants to read with me? We will read and we will underline the main ideas only. Ha ha baby. Would you like to read with me? Yeah, Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, Ammu Abdul Rahman. Yalla, Ammu. No. My granddad, dad, his name Abdul Rahman. No, I de Kong. No, I de Kong. I de Kong grew up in a small fishing village on the ice. Iceland. Island nation of Palo. Iceland. Okay. You can call it Iceland or island. The S can Iceland. be silent, so it's fine. Oh, yeah. In of Palloon children. Palloon, the name of the village. Palloon children. Palloon children are to take special care of the ocean, the ocean. So, who take care of the ocean, Ya Abdul Rahman? Who take the care children. of the ocean? The children of the village that's called alone. Very good. Now, Ismail, continue. Thank you, Ya Abdul Rahman. Ammu Ismail. The ocean. Provides the, their families with food. It it is it is. By the Kong, the man Noah. The work to ocean life boats can damage coral on on the coast when Very the good. coral. Very good. So listen to me, Abdul. Yeah, Ismail, Ismail, Ismail. Slowly, I want you to. Ismail, Ammu Ismail. Oh, I'm sorry, Ammu. I'm sorry, Ammu. 
So I'm Ismail, we, uh, you, you have to read slowly so you can understand and your friends know what you are talking about. So okay. now the children is protecting or taking care of the ocean, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Like, why they are taking care of the ocean? Because all the village depend mm -hmm. on the ocean for food. So what do they eat mainly? Hi, Abdul Aziz. What do they eat, Ya Abdul Aziz? They mainly eat fishes. From where? From the ocean. But sometimes people, when they go fish, they use boats, and these boats can get yes. the coral on the coast. Okay. Are the coral very good? No. Yes, they are. And they're very important. Do you know why? Why? Because when the coral dies, many fish leave and the fish populations get smaller. Why they leave? Because they take the corals for a habitat or as a shelter. They use corals as a shelter for them. They sleep there, they hide from, <coughs> from predators. And if there is no coral, they need to go somewhere else and find another coral to live in. After that, the population of fishes are, uh, is not going to be uh, big anymore, so they will start starving, no food for them. Okay, I the Kong help make room holes. Why, Abdul Aziz? Why? Why, Ammo? Why, Ammo, Abdul Aziz? Abdul Aziz, Abdul Aziz, you need to focus with me and stop playing. Okay? Ismail, you too. Stop playing and erase your uh, background. So, okay. I, the king, helped make rules to protect the coastal environment. So, what did Noah did? What did Noah do? To protect the environment, what did Noah do? He made. I'm sorry, that's out of the class. My sister closed the net. It's fine. So he make rules. What did he do? He made make rules to protect the coastal environment. Very good. Very good. This is about Noah, and he's an environmental scientist who studied about. Fish Island. Okay, now let's see Lena, Dr. Lena Queening Ma. I think she's from China, according to what she looks and the name. So maybe she's from China over here. Lena, oh, Japan. Ma, from the picture, what do you think she studied about? Hmm. Plant. Plant. Excellent. Yes. So she studied about plant. Not only plants, exactly about soil. Lena Quiningma was a soil scientist. See? Very good. This is very interesting. Have you ever thought that there is a soil scientist who study about soil? What they may study about? What in soil? Why they, they need to learn about soil? Because the soil is... Um, is, um, is uh, huh. is, uh, is the soil good enough to plant a, uh, uh, to grow a plant? You see, because the soil is good or not good. It's not good if you throw it. No, no, no. They don't throw the, uh, the bad soil. They try, they work hard to make it better so they can make it uh, good for growing plants. Now, this scientist, mm -hmm. Lena, she studied how some plants. Miss, she is a scientist? Yeah, Habibi, Abdul Aziz. Yes, yes, she's a scientist. She's a soil scientist. Now, I want you to listen what did she study? She studied how some plants take in arsenic. Do you know what's arsenic? No. Arsenic mm -hmm. is used as a poison to keep weeds away from crops. So arsenic is a very uh, 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 poisonous plant, okay? 
or or not plant something they put uh, on the soil to keep the weeds away from crops because if weeds are growing in crops they will not allow crops to grow uh, healthy and good during her research dr lena or dr ma dr ma found a fern growing in an industrial site what do i mean industrial site where factories are do you know the factories they release smokes they release um uh some garbage and they harm the air they harm uh the land also the soil so she found that ferns do you know the ferns these yes. are the ferns look at the ferns down here in your page these down here are the fern okay i'm gonna circle it for you these yes. are ferns okay so ma found, dr ma found a fern growing in an industrial site all right it was green even though the soil was polluted so the soil was really bad but ferns are still growing okay the soil was polluted with what with arsenic the poison remember i told you the po the arsenic is a poison soil now dr ma discovered that ferns remove arsenic from soil so they take it away so if you put a fern in a soil it will remove all the toxic uh, soil from it okay she studied how the fern can be used to clean up pollution in soil and groundwater. It's gonna so, go back. Yes, of course. So what is the good thing from this study? She discovered what? What is the most important thing she discovered? Huh? What did she found? Hmm. Ferns. Ferns, where do they grow? In the um, poison soil. Excellent, in the poison soil, very good. So what did she discover? That fern remove arsenic, which is the poison from soil, and she can be used to clean up pollution in soil. So Dr. Ma, how can she clean up the pollution uh, in soil? What she's going to do, she's going to plant some ferns. Okay, Habaibi. Let's turn the page, see what else scientists can do. If you are a soil scientist, do you know what can you do? You can know which crop. Can I go to the bathroom? Yes, yes, Alam. You can learn which crop you can, uh, in which soil you can put so it can grow better, okay? Uh, uh, a soil scientist, they study the properties of soil. One of the properties of soil are pH. They are studying the pH of each soil, okay? Now you have a scale from three to 10 over here. It show you the pH, this is the pH scale, okay? I'm gonna tell you the information. For example, the broccoli, grow best where in soil that has a, a ph around six so in which color it will grow better if it's around six is it the blue orange or green um 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 blue. six <laughs> what comes no. after seven um blue eight comes after seven eight and what comes before seven Six. Okay, so if the broccoli grow best in soil that has a pH around six, is it green or blue? Really? Excellent. So the broccoli, it will grow better in the green because it has what? Um, because the it has scale of seven, uh, six, around six broccoli okay what about blueberries they grow best in soil that has a ph around four hi i'm with Ismail. yes around four I be after yes of course yeah hamza if the blueberries grow best in 
soil that has a pH around four? Which color? Is it blue or orange? Four. Blue. Okay, what comes after seven? This is the blue. What comes after seven? Light blue. Okay, what comes after seven, ya ah. The number after seven, what? Eight. Eight, and then after that? See, nine. Nine, ten. Okay, and blueberries, they need four. pH of four. Is the light blue four? No. So which one is number four? Which color is number four? Orange. Very good. So blueberries over here. Hi, Hamza. Yes, miss. Next. Next, yeah, Hamza. The sugar beets, they grow best in soil that has pH around eight. Um, uh, um, blue. Of course, it's blue. Excellent, excellent. So over here, sugar beets, sugar beets. All right, Habaibi. That was everything for today. I hope you enjoyed. We are going to watch a video about how people in science can- Yes, I think it's writing. Mashallah, very good. I'm, uh, I'm still going to give you one more minute to finish writing for everyone to finish writing, but- um, we're Miss, going to can I show you when I'm lifting weights? Ah, Habibi? No, I did not see you. Okay, can I show you? You can show me later. La ya Salim. After we close the recording, ya mama, when we finish, you can show me. Now, ya Gilbi, I want to show you a video about uh, people in science. Did you finish. Everyone finish writing? Yes. Yes. From five minutes. Very good. So let's say bye-bye to recording.